Evocator Strategic, uh, guys, you doing some really cool things uh, on the AK style uh, rifles and Galil and Galil. Uh, so the 6.5 Grendel has kind of become your flagship product. So let's. Uh, this is the probably the most sexy one, uh, <laughs> the gun on, on the block. So tell us a little bit about that. So this is uh, just kind of an experiment, personal experiment that I was I wanted to play with. Uh, it is an 8-inch 6.5 Grendel AK pistol. Uh, taking this off here, we've got a folding brace. Uh, it's set up for uh, a red dot open uh, reflex sight. We've got uh, fully adjustable uh, gas block. And one of the really uh, cool things, we started making Galilmore. Uh, I was looking at the Galilmore safety lever, and I'm like, why can't we just incorporate this into our AK? So that's what I did. We went ahead and made a ambidextrous AK safety uh, selector. And before some someone will say something uh, in the comments, because I know people will comment, you got the uh, variable free, uh, variable power optic on it, but I have seen this gun shooting at 600 yards, and you were making hits, so it's justified. It's justified, okay? <laughs> okay. I don't judge. So, it's justified. So another thing that another one of the things that we wanted to do was was be able to collect data, uh, ballistic data for this. Uh, you know, we're doing 18 inch, 16 inch, uh, as well as 12 and a half inch. So we wanted to take it down to eight and see what the eight inch barrel was capable of. Uh, yesterday we were clocking about 2150 uh, at the muzzle on this. That should put us at about 640 yards on an eight inch barrel AK. Uh, it, it's it's glorious, and for the one by six, that Athlon Midas is uh, is great. We put it on here to shoot competition. Uh, we're looking at doing a prism scope, uh, kind of paired up. We got Saberworks uh, mount as well with uh, RS Regulate. So you know, there's there's modularity there. Freaking JMAC Customs, they got this sweet rear trunnion. So if if we don't like our, our setup here, we can switch it out. It's, uh, you know, kind of wanted to try to do everything. Same thing with his uh, J-Max uh, HRD hand stop, his brand new one. This, this, this is my emotional support AK. And, and it all fits in one backpack. This is, this is actually a pistol. Yes, sir. This is pistol. Because uh, some may think, but this is a pistol setup. Very cool. What about the Galil? Is this going to become so? But this is a prototype. As of right now, it's prototype. Correct right, for you. So any timeline when these may be coming out in in, in those pistol-like setups? August. 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 As soon as I mean this year. This year, right? August right, 2020. Right. I yep. just want to qualify. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Qualify. What about the Galil? Because you you started playing with Galil. Is this going to become a, a product line for you guys or not yet? No, that's available now. Okay. That's available What's now. What's the price on it? Uh, we're looking at 2500, 24.99. Mm -hmm. um, it is a torque port receiver. Uh, this is a Galil made in 65 Creedmoor. Um, you use standard Galil 308 mags. Uh, so that one is Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6 .5 not Grendel. Not Grendel, this is okay. 6.5 Creedmoor. I thought I shot that and it was like a little bit more recoil than the Grendel, like, hmm, okay. A little bit more, a little bit more reach. <laughs> it, it, but definitely that's interesting proposition to run this on the 6.5 uh, Creedmoor. And uh, the, what price at the end of the barrel? Uh, that is a 5.8 by 24. All right, so you can use the standard uh, right. Adapter mounts for your suppressors, whatever you want to suppress it, you, you should have no problems. And you're saying this is going up right now. It, you, we were talking about that a little bit before, and you said that you will not put, put out like a version more tactical. Well, well uh, we wanted to go with the classic version, you know, so we wanted to do that first and, uh, you know, and run that. And then we also wanted to, you know, do kind of a modernized version. So fully adjustable stock, uh, a, a railed uh, front end, bipod, you know, uh, just kind of more modern sure. uh, technologies that we're kind of run into it. But. Especially on the 6.5 cream mode, you right. can squeeze out mu so much more from that cartridge. Correct. So that, that would make perfect sense. So I'll be, I'll be watching for the same touch on, on the Galil 2, guys. That's a very interesting project. And finally, you got in hands, that's a 6.5 Grendel. Grendel. Uh, AK pistol. Pistol. Mm -hmm. pistol. So what's the length of the barrel? This is a 12 and a half inch barrel. It's got a uh, Alexander Arms compensator on the end. 
Uh, it's a standard WBP Polish, yay Polish, uh, parts kit. Um, and it's in 6.5 Grindle. We use the uh, Saberworks mount on the back. You can also run RS Regulate. And uh, we have, you want to go ahead and make our big announcement? We'll do it right here with Rob. Nope. Nope. What's the secret? Come All on. Right. Okay. Let's, let's, all right, let's do it. Okay, so the big announcement, uh, you know, we've, we've been working with 6.5 Grindle AK uh, for, we debuted over a year ago mm -hmm. in April. The big announcement is, uh, Evocative Strategic is going to start making 6.5 Grindle AK magazines. In 10, um, 20, and 30 rounds. In 10, 20, 30 round magazines, uh, we are... So everything will be made in the house. Yep. Because yes, sir. you're putting those uh, in the house and the magazines and you'll offer the full package. Exactly. Yes, sir. And we want to we want to have them tuned with the action and, you know, the, 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 max, the, the intent, the end state is we want supreme reliability where you can mag dump, you can do whatever you want and, and you can guarantee and, and just make sure, hey, that magazine is not going to fail you. What will be the price point for the magazines? Do you have breakdowns or not yet? We're, we're looking at probably, of course, we want to keep them as low as possible. We're, we're looking at it starting out at probably about 30 to 35. Uh, in all honesty, we just want to break even on the mags because we want to sell our fire. We want to sell our pistols, our rifles. Uh, That's for 30 rounder, 35 bucks? About 35 bucks for the 30 rounder and, and a little less for the others. Um, you know, we put a lot of a lot of time. We have an engineer who uh, who designed it, tested it. Uh, we're ru we've got running prototypes now, and um, production is probably going to start Monday. Wow, this Monday. This Monday. Yes, so the the video will go after the production oh, starts. Wow. But right. that's awesome. Going back to the case. So uh, are you offering those? That one, the twelve point five pistol, pistol mm -hmm. for sale yet? Yes, this and is available now. What, what's the price? Uh, we'll talk to you. Yeah, this one is about twenty-two, twenty-three hundred. Twenty-two, because it's got the folding, the, the fold, the saber works, uh, the RS regulate handguard, and um, so fully pimped. Fully, yep. fully pimped. Fully pimped. I mean, we want to probably be about sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred. Um, we really. You know, I, I remember what it was like to uh, want guns and bow yards and save my money. So we're we're trying to cover all price points, and of course, we, we Gucci them out to mm -hmm. bring here to show Rob to try to impress. Very, this is looking very good, and I shot the rifles, and they actually work nicely. And uh, they go go up. Uh, you know, you can really have fun hitting those targets and extended ranges. So I I wish you good luck. This is this is a very interesting addition to the AK family and the Galil. Family, uh, 6.5 Creedmoor on the Galil. This is the first time in my life when I shot 6.5 Creedmoor on the Galil. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations, to have that mission accomplished. And uh, I'll be watching, and, and you know, we'll be seeing what you guys are coming up with. Again, good luck on those magazines because magazines are the key. Absolutely. And uh, hopefully that will happen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you, sir. Hey, and see you soon, guys. See you soon. Thanks for watching.